parents disgusted and outraged at this very moment. Their children's school is infested with cockroaches, and school leaders can't seem to get a handle on the problem. It's gotten so bad, some of the bugs are coming home with the kids. Our Eric Waxler now covering Pasco County tonight. My five-year-old coming home. Mom, there's bugs in my class. Amanda Cribs has two kids at Northwest Elementary in Hudson, a school dealing with a roach problem she's seen firsthand. It's very nasty. I was in the cafeteria last Friday having, you know, lunch with my daughter, and they were actually crawling underneath my feet. I was stepping on them to keep them away from my children. Denise Dimmick is beyond frustrated and worried about her three kids' health. They're running across the projectors as the teacher's trying to do lessons. Kids aren't allowed to bring their, you know, backpacks into certain areas because cockroaches will get in them. It is above and beyond what we've had at other schools. Pasco School District spokesperson Linda Cobb acknowledges the bug problem at Northwest. The health department cited the school, finding live and dead roaches all over. And one second grade class even had to switch rooms. Cobb says Bingham's professional termite and pest has been treating Northwest and doing the best it can. They've been out there every weekend since June. Um, they visit the school during the week also. They put these monitors in the classroom to try to figure out where they're coming and going. The school did not notify parents about the problem, but now that ABC Action News started looking into things, a note was finally sent home today. And the district is talking with the exterminators about how much it will cost to fog the school over the weekend. If I can keep my house clean and I can do pest control, they should be able to do it at school and keep my kids safe. We asked to go inside Northwest Elementary ourselves to get a first-hand look, but the school district denied that request. In Hudson, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.